It's National Puppy Day. Take a look at all of these puppy pics. We've received over a thousand photos. Oh. A thousand. Look how adorable those faces are. Make sure to share your pictures with us on our Facebook page. The more, the merrier. We cannot get enough of puppies. And not only is it Puppy Day, but we're making this National Adopt a Puppy Day. So of course, of course, of course, we had to have the Seattle Humane Society come in with these puppy dogs. And we also brought in Kathy Madsen, certified dog trainer from Preventative Vet. Thank you both for being here. Okay, first of all, who are these puppy dogs? This little one is Sage Wise. And his sister is our Samwise, Samwise and Sage. Yeah. And Sage. <laughs> yeah. Samwise and Sage. Samwise and Sage. They are three months old. They are black, uh, retrie black Labrador Retriever Terrier mixes. Wow. That's a mouthful for a little puppy. And they came all the way from Louisiana as part of our transfer program. So helping out other shelters Ooh, that are wonderful. full. that's wonderful. Yeah. Welcome, y'all. All right, so let's talk about what happens. You, Kathy, you, you get these beautiful dogs, but then you bring them home, and then what? Right, so it's super fun to bring the puppies home, yeah. and then it can be really overwhelming when you start thinking about, oh my gosh, I have to go get their vaccines done, get their crates, get their leashes, all of that done. But what a lot of puppy owners don't think about mm. is socialization. So socializing mm. needs to happen between the weeks of age of 6 to 16 weeks oh, is wow. the best time. Yeah. This is literally like having a baby. I did all the same right? things when I brought my baby home. Right. So you want to expose them to as many things as you can in a really positive way. Okay. Um, and make sure that they're enjoying it. If they show any fear or caution, you kind of want to add some distance, make sure they take their time, get to know the things. But this way, it helps prevent behavior issues when they're adults. Um, and it's the best thing you can do behaviorally. That's amazing. And at Preventive Vet, what we did is we wanted to create an easy to use interactive checklist. Yes, yeah, so you have like 100 tips for 100 days. Yeah, and that way you can kind of go through the checklist, see, okay, my dog loved this, mm, didn't really care or really hated it. And that way you can take that to your trainer and say, what do I do to work on helping my dog get used to kids or get used to people in wheelchairs, things like that, that they're mm -hmm. gonna see throughout their whole life. Yeah. Right. And Good so, job. and you, you guys are going to probably have families coming in to yep. see these dogs. What about with, with kids when you introduce a puppy with children in the house? Right. You really want to start slow. Um, I always say low and slow, short and sweet, right? <laughs> I like so that. really, you know, low level activity. Um, a lot of the times I like to let the puppy approach the kid on their own, but then mm -hmm. the adult wants to be around to manage any puppy nippiness, which can happen because they explore everything with their mouths. Puppy nippiness. Yes. I like it. Yeah. And then lots of um, positive reinforcement. So treats, toy play, all the stuff your puppy loves is really important to include. And then don't go too long and get an over-exhausted puppy okay. because that can really change the way they feel about things. And when, just like kids, when they're tired, they can get a little cranky. Yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. don't want that to happen. You want them to have just a short and sweet fun with fun time with kids and go from there. That's, and Kathleen, with you, these dogs, who, who, they would be good for a, a young family? I mean, is it yeah. good to have, start with a puppy? Good starter puppies, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, so I've been fostering them for the past three, four days, my husband and I. <laughs> I oh, know, you're right? so brave. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been amazing, but it is a good reminder, like, wow, they are a lot of work. Yeah. Because um, we have senior dogs now, and so I've forgotten that <laughs> what are a few things. This is but, why you are an angel. Absolutely. Well, thank you. So what about like baby proofing or doggy proofing the home? I mean, you don't want to lose your favorite shoes and stuff, right? Right, right. It's, a lo it's all about management. Mm -hmm. And on our website, preventivevet.com, mm -hmm. we have tons of resources for new puppy owners. And even if you adopt an adult dog, mm -hmm. you can still use that interactive 100 things in 100 days checklist that we got for socialization. But we also have a great article about how to puppy proof your home, how to make sure you don't have toxic house plants out there, yes. um, things like that. So you really want to make sure they have a safe environment and it really to save your shoes put your shoes away <laughs> put the, just put the shoes away how many shoes have you lost in the time you've been fostering i have not lost any wow. however nice. my husband's not watching he's lost a couple <laughs> oh no oh my goodness yeah. thank you kathleen thank you for coming down and bringing pleasure. these puppies i hope they find a nice home thank you so much to kathy thank you. for coming down here and you can always find more information at preventivet.com um, and uh, just wonderful, wonderful thing to do. All right, so maybe today is a good day to walk the puppies. I don't know.